Hi everyone, welcome to this Dianet's Table. It's really hard to believe that this year is almost over and the new year is upon us. Uh, traditionally on January 1st, uh, either for New Year's Day lunch or for dinner, we always have rice cake soup. And it's really easy to make rice cake soup these days because you can buy the rice cakes and you can make very simple toppings to go with it. So please join me in making the rice cake soup and Happy New Year! So ingredients you need for the rice cake soup are of course the rice cakes. Here you see these uh, individually sliced rice cakes. You can get them at Korean grocery stores. Uh, leave them in the water until you're ready to cook because you don't want to you know, have them dry out. And if they're kind of stuck together, make sure that they're you know, separate because you don't want to you know, have everything sort of glued together when it's ready. Then um, you need to make beef stock. Uh, beef stock is uh, here, it's very clear because I've drained all the fat and the ingredients out. But I usually just boil beef brisket for the beef stock. And then for the toppings, of course, you need um, dry seaweed, which I've cut. I'm going to show you how I make the topping with the egg and scallions. And then for the, um, the boiled brisket, I shred it and I'm going to season it. So I'll show you how to do that. You have the uh, boiled uh, brisket that's uh, from making the stock. And when it's cold, Actually, I like to um, shred it with a hand because it's uh, easier. And I think this way you can actually get rid of some of the fat that comes on the beef instead of just cutting it with the knife. So you shred it like this. Because it's been well cooked, it's really easy to shred. I've already shredded some before to save time. So here you are. And I like to uh, season it a little bit with one teaspoon, one tablespoon of sesame oil, okay. two tablespoons of uh, soy sauce. I like to use uh, low sodium, and one tablespoon of light brown sugar. And you mix it and then you set it aside so that I'm going to pan fry it a little bit after I make the eggs. So we'll just set it aside. So I want to show you how I make uh, egg topping and I actually, you can do it just with a regular egg, but I like to separate the eggs to add something special since it is a New Year's Day cake. So I would um, do the egg yolk and the egg whites. And usually for the egg yolk, I, I do like to put in just one whole egg because uh, it gets too thick, so it's kind of hard to make the egg. So you just beat it. I'm going to heat up the pan on medium heat. Once the pan is warmed up, put a little bit of oil. So I want to make it into a very thin um, egg pancake if you call it, if you call it that way and it's important to beat the egg until it goes over the pan it's uh, do only half Lower the heat a bit. Mm. 
Don't worry about it being um, broken because I'm going to slice it into thin pieces anyway. I just don't want it to be burned. do the whites again beat it whites tend to burn easier so I'm going to lower the heat a little bit then turn carefully Perfect. It just turn off your heat and it's ready. So uh, you take the your um, shredded beef from the beef stock. There's still some, you know, fat. I like to pan fry it with no extra oil. Just put it in. And this will make sure that the beef absorbs all the flavors. So that when you put the beef into the soup, the beef will still maintain that flavor. You can actually take one and taste it and then if it's uh, nice and sweet and salty. It's ready. I'm gonna put it back in. Okay. Now I'll show you how do I cut the eggs. So um, I'm going to show you how I cut the uh, eggs for the topping on the um, rice cake soup. I cut it into th three sections like this. And then I'm going to cut it into thin julienne pieces. Right. You can do that. Or sometimes I even cut it into diamond shapes. But um, like these diamond shapes here. But these uh, uh, sort of embellishments, I usually use it for kalbi jim and meat dishes not for the soup. So since we're serving kalbi jim today too, I cut some. And the rest I prepare for this soup. Uh, the reason I um, make these uh, eggs separately Rather than just putting the pouring the um, beaten egg over into the soup base directly, is because I don't want my uh, rice cake soup to look messy. I like it when it's really nice and clean. But you know, again, you don't have to do it. You can actually pour the uh, egg beaten egg directly into the soup. But since it is New Year's Day, I like to make things a little bit special.
here I'll do the diamond shape so we're ready with the uh, egg whites and the egg yolk um, toppings and finally no rice cake soup is good without seaweed dry seaweed and please use the plain one not because uh, you can find ones with uh, sesame oil or olive oil and salt on top that's no good for the soup so take um, maybe two or three uh, seaweed sheets cut it into uh, your thumb size and like maybe inch and a half or two inches and just you know slice it into three thin strips like this these you know you can actually make the toppings both egg the beef and the seaweed days ahead so you're not in a rush the day of the new year's day you don't want to be spending too much time in the kitchen on new year's day so i usually make them ahead and here are the ones that i have cut already so you have the um three four toppings for the rice cake soup and of course you want to add this green scallions so let's start making our rice cake soup so we have the beef stock now uh, in a pot boiling so when it starts to boil i'm going to put the rice cakes in uh, the sort of the amount of measurement uh, for rice cake is maybe one uh, fistful per person so um Ooh, it's hot. I'm going to make it for four people. So maybe four toppings, but in case somebody wants more, I put a little more in. And you stir it. The um, seasoning for the uh, taco, I only put salt in so here let me put some uh, this is uh, roasted and finely ground sea salt and i'm going to put maybe one teaspoon flow and again the uh, saltiness is really up to you but you obviously you don't want it to be too salty so um, you know take care so you don't put too much salt into it I'm going to taste it and see how it is. Mm, it's actually perfect for me, but um, as you know, I, I like to eat bland. So, um, and you know the uh, rice cake is ready when the rice cake starts to float to the top. So uh, wait a few minutes and already like one or two is beginning, but uh, soon it will all come up to the top this is almost like cooking pasta you don't want it to be overcooked and yet at the same time you don't want it to be undercooked so I always wait for all the rice cakes to come up to the top and then wait maybe one more minute that way I know that is uh, perfect for me but if you like it al dente Take it out when the uh, it comes to the top. The rice cakes are ready, so I'm going to ladle into the bowl. Again, obviously the amount that you want to serve depends on how much the person likes to eat. But I think that should be enough. And then I'm going to put a little bit of green onions just to add color and then beef on top and the eggs the white eggs and the yellow eggs 
and then of course the final the seaweed so it's ready let's go and eat this So New Year's Day meal, yeah. Happy I prefer. New Year. Happy New Year to you. <laughs> Do you have a New Year's wish? Well, a special uh, wish. I want this good food to keep on coming, <laughs> <laughs> and many more subscribers for you. Oh, thank you. Very, very good wish. Very, very good. Oh, Happy uh, New Year. Oh, okay. Happy New Year. Mm. Mm. Good. So all your favorites, yes. yeah, the shrimp wrap, <clears throat> the egg chan, kalbi jam, and then we're trying the uh, pear kimchi for the oh, yeah. New Year's Day, right? Very nice. Yeah, very nice. So Thank I bring you. it over here, and then your favorite white kimchi is in here. Mm. Yeah. So we made this during yeah. kimjang, so <clears throat> this, you can. This have really the, turned out well. This yeah. Time. Yeah. Better than most times. Yeah. <laughs> And try your taco. Okay. It's um, hard to believe that it's already a, a year. A year has gone by. Mm. Very good. Mm. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Still only very good. <laughs> Let me serve you some of your um, pear kimchi. Mm. and help yourself to shrimp and everything. Mm. You know... Wow! Fantastic! <laughs> pear kimchi is good! <laughs> yes! Finally! Mm. I learned to make this pear kimchi about 10 years ago, right? So I've been making it every year. Yes! Yeah. <clears throat> Getting better every year. Very, yeah. Good. Let's try the shrimp. Shrimp. Mm. You know, my <clears throat> wish for the new year Looks good. is for you to enjoy good food, but also stay healthy. Yes, yeah? I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> that means lots of exercise, too. Mm. And mm. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Always, you only say two things, either very good okay. or mm. fantastic. I'll add one more. What? Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> a new word. <laughs> new word for the new after, year. After all, it's a new year. I see, I see. Okay, mm. thank you. <laughs> mm.